African-owned businesses have contributed to the Bronx both culturally and economically, and today Bronxites will get to experience the flavors of Africa here at Bronx Community College. And this is really our idea to give all of you a taste of Africa, to make sure that residents from all across our borough can get to experience the beautiful African culture, the businesses, the restaurants, the entrepreneurs, everyone that does so much to make this a beautiful borough and a beautiful mosaic of different cultures and nationalities. As part of the celebration, a range of resources were offered to African community members, from discussions on epidemics seen in West Africa, to highlighting small businesses celebrating diverse authors. This event really means a lot to me in the sense that our program is actually talking about hepatitis B among West African community, in which a lot of us do not understand what hepatitis B is, and also a lot of them have never tested for it. You know, being able to come back to the neighborhood and seeing that we have like an Africa day and representing our culture is so um, important. I'm just glad that I heard about it in time. Through her own small business, Tuma's Books, Fatuma Hedora is helping readers get to know African authors of diverse genres. But there's so many other like contemporary African writers um, that I think people should know about. And they're writing in all genres, right? They're not just writing about colonialism and right. there's romance and there's fantasy. Um, and I think it's important to get those in readers' hands as well. To see an African Day event here and to host the food from Africa, I think to me is like a dream come true. In anticipation of Africa Day, we can truly say Bronxites got a taste of Africa. Reporting for Bronxnet, Jonathan Calixto.